Hi everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel, welcome back to another episode, excuse the mess of here, I've had a hat on. Uh, it's a very sunny day here in Wales, this is Man of Beer, region, you've got Crinkle Bay down there which is really really beautiful, it's the broadest part of uh, Pembrokeshire. Uh, now this video is one that is kind of a little bit impromptu, um, in the sense that I didn't know this was going to happen, you might have seen from the title that I bought something really really cool, I'm going to start a renovation project, a very different one to perhaps the, the properties, but essentially one that I just couldn't not do. Essentially, I've always loved a certain car, uh, and it's been basically a dream of mine growing up in the kind of countryside and them having them around me growing up to own one one day and really bring it to modern standards and, by, and beyond as well. So I'm very, very excited to show you this. Um, it came about actually because I was on the way home, uh, driving along, saw it on the side of the road with a for sale in, sign in the window and thought, I've got to do it. So, without further ado, I would like to show you my new Defender. Have a look everyone. When I say new, it's very, very much not new. This thing is an absolute beauty. It's in the kind of army green. Um, I, oh God, where do I even start? What's really cool about this car is that it's 1991. That was the year that it was um, uh, rolled out. Uh, and I was born in 1991. So many people might say it was kind of meant to be. Uh, I saw it and I absolutely loved it. In this video, I'm going to explain a little bit more around why I've got it, what my plans are, and some of the changes that I might make. Um, there are, you know, the Defender community is huge. I'm sure there'll be a lot of you watching this who maybe have Defenders, have done the renovations, know a lot about them. Please do drop in the comments and give me some tips and advice because I'm not pretending to be a pro in, in Defenders at all. It's going to be an exciting project. I'm literally going to overhaul this car. So let's have a walk around. Let's start at the uh, let's start at the side. Lots of you can see because of the age. It's 31 years old. There's lots of scrapes, scrapes and scratches. And Ali, can I have a look at these tyres? I love these tyres. So these got the Cooper Cooper tyres on them. I think they're 70 30 split. So kind of designed for the road, but you've got a bit of off road capabilities as well. Uh, these are big big tyres. You'll notice as well that uh, this is actually raised up. Um, or you might notice. Definitely the keen Defender fans amongst you will notice. It's, I think, six inches higher, so whoever owned this before raised it up a little bit. It's got this roof snorkel, which I actually love. Come on, let's show you on the front here. Got the roof snorkel. I don't think this is functioning at the moment, so we need to look into that. Um, got, obviously, the, I love it, the Defender badge at the front. Lots of dents in the bonnet. I love these kind of military-style grills there. It's got the winch system. Uh, this is working. I tried this with the previous owner. It is working. Apparently, they pulled out uh, they pulled out uh, a few people in snowy conditions and from Fords as well using this. So it's funny. It doesn't look that big and that strong, but apparently it'll pull pretty much anything. Um, it's got enough of the LED lights here. Actually, all the kind of lights are working, which is great. Um, come around, you can see the aerial here. It's got these kind of fog lights at the top. Is it fog lights you call them? Something like that. These aren't actually working. They're not functioning uh, there. This is where you start looking and realizing what kind of work there's going to be done. But have a look in here. Uh, you can <laughs> look around the edges here. Look at this. And the seats, the original seats in here. You know, it's. I just love it. I just absolutely love it. If I just grab the phone and feel it, I'll just jump in to show you. It's easy when I'm just sat in here almost a little bit. But, you know, look at this. It's got uh, some kind of the, the steering wheel has been changed. But it, these original dials, it's funny. When you drive it, it kind of bounces between like 10 and 20. Like, you've got to be very careful with your speed because God knows what you're doing. <laughs> look at the old dials and stuff. You've got the fan on this side. Um, on this side, you've got like the basically control how much airflow you want. The, the radio player actually works, cassette player, and the clock, we've got the clock working as well. Proper, proper job in the middle here. What have we got in here? I don't remember actually. Little parcel thing in the middle. Um, we've got the, that's for the winch actually on the front. Uh, underneath here uh, is where the battery's kept, all the kind of fuse boards here. We actually changed from the fuses today to get things kind of working. The thing with this spray, just to try and get the diesel cap open, uh, what I got there. And by the way, the, it, within this, you've got the 2.5 litre turbo diesel. This has done, as you might have noticed, look at the dash, 182,000 miles. So it's done a decent old uh, distance. It's probably as worn out as I am. Uh, and funny enough, I show you the engine. Maybe we'll work out how to open it. It's got a, it's got a little catch thing here. Oh, that's actually even bloody work. Glad I got this open earlier. I can't remember. Anyway, you'll have to believe me that there is an engine in there. So after a bit of fiddling, I managed to get the uh, being able to manage to get the uh, front bonnet open. You have got basically a little catch. It's not working on the inside, so I had to pull that to get it open. Uh, but yeah, that's the engine. So this is the 2.5 liter uh, turbo. It's done 
it's done 182,000 miles, which is quite a long way, Elliot, isn't it? Elliot is yeah. used to working on uh, <laughs> uh, helicopters and uh, jets and stuff. I can tell you that that's a long way, 182,000 miles. Um, but, you know, it's, it's going to come out, uh, clearly. As lovely as it is, I think it's done its time. Do you think so, Elliot? It's had its day? Yeah. No, I'd say it looks pretty good, considering. <laughs> it does look quite good. You know, it's, it's been well uh, looked after. Previous yeah, owner yeah. really has looked after it. Yeah. Um, but I think it is it is time now. It's quite cool. You can just see through to the bottom. Look at that. Clear air underneath. But oh, um, yeah. It's easy enough to work on. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a simple simple mechanics, isn't it? That's a great, I say simple. I couldn't do it. But it is, for someone, very simple uh, mechanics. But I don't think I'm going to put electric in this, because electric batteries are incredibly expensive. I think kitting this out will not be simple at all. And the other worry is that the batteries fade very quickly. I've looked online and for a lot of them it'll do 200 miles on a full charge, right, which is great, but what will it do in five years time? The technology is changing so much, I'd be really worried to put an electric in this, whereas diesel or a petrol engine would feel much, much safer to put in here. And I might just come over here while we're looking at uh, mechanics. One of the things I wanted to look at is obviously when I was buying the car was what the, um, what the chassis was like. Um, Obviously, we need to lift it up properly, but it doesn't look too bad underneath here. There's not horrendous rust. There's a bit of, um, well, there's definitely a bit of wear and tear underneath yeah. here. It doesn't look awful, is it? No, it looks... It's yeah. not too bad at all, is it? Come around. Lots of dents and marks all the way around. It's character. Got a big fat tyre on the back, which is just so, so cool. And, of course, a little square plate. Got it in the end, so open the boot. Big fat tyre on the back. And here, I mean, look at look at the tour here. Look at this here. Gosh, my God. More than the 110, it's kind of farmers, chuck stuff in the back, builders, whatever, just for manual use. Uh, so it's very simple in here. You can have these as benches in the back, uh, which we'll come on to in a moment. So yeah, let's show you on this side, passion side. There's a bit of work to be done on this side. <laughs> look at this door. So lots of rust through there. There's a lot of rust and you can actually see some of the rust on this level but i think it's quite superficial importantly underneath it so i've had a look underneath the chassis looks okay um obviously rust is a big warrior of defenders but actually it's okay the mot's look pretty good there's not actually that many advisories now you're probably thinking right this is all very well so what are you going to do with this well i absolutely love the defender i think it's an incredible piece of kit it's part of history british motor vehicle history and i think it will be so so cool when I restore it. What I'd like to do is not only bring this back to, you know, the standards as it was new, but bring it to real modern standards. So the plan is, brand new engine. So I'm thinking of putting, uh, you can put get V8 engines for it, you get a big petrol V8, you get a diesel V8, so you can even go electric actually with these cars. So I'll put an engine in the front, we're gonna have a new suspension system, new brakes all the way around to bring that up to safe, you know, safe kind of standards. Um, gearbox, I think I'm gonna change it to an auto box you know driving around manuals are all very well and it's in keeping with its time but actually auto is better uh so auto box in there and then in the interior the plan is basically to rip this all out um i want to put apple carplay system in there technology you can put parking sensors parking camera front and back um you know to get this comfort right there you know the thing is if you look around here i am pretty tall and actually uh, me sat in there it's 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 not that much space so what I'd like to do is actually bring the seat further backwards to give myself more leg room, put really comfortable leather seats in there, heated seats. This will need insulating throughout, so the door cars, the front panel need insulation uh, around the roof here as well. What I'd like to do if I just jump out is put here, I'd like to put uh, the blacked out windows. So when you're driving, the visibility, one thing I've noticed already, visibility isn't that great. So if you're driving, you're turning right, you can't really see a lot. So if I put the black window here, it looks really cool, bring light in, and also allows the visibility out. Um, and if I swing you around the back, what I'd like to do as well is actually, um, obviously this is all going to be changed, I'd like to end up having um, the foldable seats. So you can use them, and they're safe to be used, the belts, all that kind of stuff. But because they fold away, you've still got this huge amount of space to kind of store stuff, chuck things in. And realistically, I'll enjoy it here in Wales. You know, it's a great car when I come back to see my family. I've got it here to run round, dogs can jump in, Paddington can jump in and have a great time. So yeah, I'm really, really pleased with it. I must say, it's gonna be a great journey. I'm gonna do a, a series of videos on the YouTube channel to show renovating this and bringing it back to, back to life. It's something amazing. It's a 1991 car, it's my birth year. It's kind of meant to be. I love it already. It's great, Ellie, isn't it? Driving around, even though going through the gears is a nightmare, cutting the third is almost impossible. I just love it.
this is going to be one hell of a transformation. You wait till this thing has got a proper engine in it, it's running beautifully, and uh, it's back to its former glory. Thanks for everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. It's a whole series of ones coming up. This is something I wasn't expecting to do now. I was always planning to do a Defender restoration at some point, but I just drove past it and had to. Anyway, lots of love to you all. Let me know your thoughts. Please, please, please give me advice in the comments. If you guys have, have done a renovation project with this before and you know the pitfalls and stuff, please let me know. I'd be very much appreciated. I'm certainly not an expert in this. Lots of love, take care and goodbye.